yesterday, as I, as I told you folks a, a few times over the week and yesterday and today, uh, I attended the Real Estate Wealth Expo in Austin, Texas yesterday, and it was 12 to 14 hours of just amazing, amazing information and insights. And let me tell you something. I don't know if you can see this, but if you like the do-it-yourself type people, the do-it-yourself channel, uh, the shark, shark Tank, anything like that, check this out, guys. Okay, you have some real heavy hitters in the real estate community, plus Pitbull, plus Tony Robbins, who, who were there at this event. And let me tell you something. Everything that these people said was golden. And they all had common themes when, when asked similar questions. So I'm going to hit on some of those common themes. I'm not going to talk about real estate. I'm not going to talk about real estate investing or anything like that. Because honestly, what the, the expo does is they get people up there and they talk about what they can do for you. And you have to pay for some of their educational services. So, in, in the interest of non-disclosure here, uh, I'm going to tell you the information was golden, the courses, the education that they're offering is golden, and me and my friend who went there, we took advantage of a couple of these. And the reason why we took advantage of a couple of these is because one of the biggest things that, that we've always been told, even by Moab, is having multiple streams of income. So when you talk about multiple streams of income, you're not just talking about being an affiliate marketer for one organization. You're talking about expanding that into some other ways of generating income passively, okay, in this case, but other ways of generating income so that you don't have all of your eggs in one basket. So my friend and I decided to, to start exploring the real estate option and went to this expo and let me tell you like I said we learned a ton of information from a ton of heavy hitters out there and we're taking advantage of this and you know we'll, we'll keep you posted on, on some of the success and if we think some of the educational packages that they offered were worth it or not in the meantime multiple streams of income so real estate is one of those multiple streams of income but there's tons more out there that, that you can get into. You could even get into the stock market. You could get into precious metals, jewels, whatever. Uh, there's, there's lots of ways out there to generate income where you don't necessarily have to go back to doing a nine to five job. And that's, if you're watching this, if you've been paying any attention to me, that is the whole purpose of, of why I'm here talking to you is to help you find ways to get out of that nine to five, pardon my language here, that nine to five nut roll that people find themselves in where they find that they're not very happy with it. They're not very happy with their lives. They're not very happy with how things are turning out for them. And they want to find some sort of freedom, whether that's financial freedom, location freedom, time freedom, or all three. That's what they want. That's what I wanted. And if you're watching this, chances are this is what you want as well. So if you're looking at this, yes, online marketing is one way, but there are tons of other ways. And these guys talked about the same thing of generating multiple streams of income. So that was one of the, that was one of the, the key themes for, from this expo. And they offered many ways to generate those multiple streams of income. So the other thing that they were, and I've got a whole laundry list here, so if you see me looking down, I, I'm checking off this list because I want to make sure that what I'm saying is re-emphasizing things that I've been saying all along. And it's not to say I told you so, it's to say that these are things that people, experts, experts in their fields, experts in their area, these are things that everyone is saying that help make them successful. These are the things that I'm saying because I want to help you become successful. That is my whole goal in doing all of this is I, you know, you pay it forward and I want to pay it forward and I want to pay my knowledge forward. So here it is guys, mentorship. That was one of the biggest themes that, that they had across the board. And when I talk about mentorship and when I talk about all of these folks, I'm talking about, you know, 
people, Christine Almusa, who, who's, you know, flip or flop on the do-it-yourself network, okay, um, Todd Talbot, Brian Allen, Pitbull, Tony Robbins, guess what? They all had mentors, okay? You've probably seen me refer to Jim Rohn. Jim Rohn was Tony Robbins' mentor. So mentorship is one of the biggest tools, biggest things that, that you can do, that you can take advantage of to become an expert in, in whatever area that, that you want to become an expert in. You find the people who have done, been there, done that, become successful, know how to do it, know how to do it without making the same, without making mistakes. Now mistakes are going to happen, but by the time they've reached that level, They've already figured out most of the mistakes that can happen and can help you, guide you around those potential pitfalls and mistakes. Mentorship, okay? If nothing else ever gets through, mentorship. Find a mentor and listen to them and be guided by them and avoid the pitfalls and mistakes that they made. Second thing, and this is in no particular order, but Again, why? You have to know your why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to do this? What is the biggest reason why? Okay, Tony Robbins, do you know why he does, does this? Why he's such a, a major, major name in coaching and business strategy and life strategy? It's because he had a shitty life. Okay, he had a shitty life. And he told and he told us this story as well. What he what changed his perspective was when he was a little boy and his mom and dad were fighting and it was Thanksgiving and they didn't have food for Thanksgiving. And a gentleman knocked on the door with two grocery sacks full of food and a turkey all ready to go and a and a roaster and he was paying it forward because they didn't have food for Thanksgiving. Now, here's the thing. Tony's father, yes, was prideful and slammed the door in a guy's face, or tried to, until three times he tried to. Finally, on the third time, the guy said, don't let your ego get in the way of taking care of your family. And... Tony's father grabbed the sacks, threw them in, and slammed the door in the guy's face. And what that did was it showed Tony that total stranger, someone that he never knew, a total stranger, could be caring enough to see that there were people out there who didn't have enough food for Thanksgiving and to want to help them. Not because it was a pride thing and they wanted to show that they could feed them? No, but because it was a good thing to do and that total strangers could offer kindness. So since then, Tony Robbins has fed about 43 billion people. 43 billion people that he's fed from that one act of kindness that he saw as a child. So when, when you think about why Think about that. Have a why that is so passionate, that's so powerful, that makes you want to succeed even if you fail 10,000 times. Have a why. Vision boards. Okay, next thing on the list. Vision boards. Okay, I've talked about vision boards in the past. Guess what? People, these people who do flip or flop, flipping San Antonio, love it or... or Love it or list it. All of these people, guess what? They admitted they have a vision board. They have something that they wake up to every day and they look at it and it reaffirms everything that, that they're doing and the goals that they have set for themselves. So along with the vision board is having clear goals. So every day you have to have a vision board, a goal, a dream that is strong enough to get you out of bed in that first five seconds, be happy to be in the position that you are, and to keep going, okay? Vision boards and goals. Have a plan. Said this before, 
Okay, vision boards, goals, it all goes together, but you have to have a plan. You have to have a plan, and you have to have it clearly in front of you at all times. Don't be greedy. Okay, this was a new one for me, but it makes a whole lot of sense. If you're out there and all you're trying to do is make money for the sake of making money, people are going to see that. So the way, the way you do this is you don't be greedy. You share the wealth, you share the jobs, you share the projects, and you get people involved, and guess what? You start developing a reputation as an honest dealer. And I cannot tell you how important this is. If you are seen as greedy and all you're interested in is making money and maybe cutting corners and, and, and just saying anything to, to get that deal, guess what? People are going to see that and they're not going to want to work with you. So don't be greedy. Share the wealth. Even if you have to take a lower cut of something, you're still going to make money. Okay, a percentage of something is better than zero of nothing. Okay, so don't be greedy. Be passionate, you know, be sincere, be honest, and people will see that and they'll want to work with you. Along with that is having a lot of energy and showing that you enjoy what you're doing. Okay, Tony Robbins, motion equals emotion. So this comes in to take care of yourself, okay? Take care of yourself physically, mentally, spiritually. Take care of yourself because you're the only person who can take care of you. All right, and, and again, I'm hitting, I'm, I'm just doing a barrage here, but if you don't take care of yourself, no one else will. And if, if you don't have the energy to keep going after a long day, to you know, talk to people, to make those connections, to let people know you're engaged, guess what, they're gonna see that as well. All right, again, Tony, story, because this is so much in my mind, everything that, that he talked about last night. This is so much in my mind. Guess what? The dude flew in from Cleveland, Ohio, okay, arrived in Austin at 4 o'clock in the morning, and had to be ready to go at 8 o'clock in the morning. So you're talking less than four hours of rest. And he still managed to do that. He gave his, he started his portion of the expo at four o'clock that afternoon and he went till eight o'clock that night talking to people and let me tell you you would never know that he was going on less than four hours of sleep okay the guy is just chock full of energy and sometimes you, you know you have to fake that energy but I tell you what when you start faking it it starts becoming real all right so motion equals emotion so if you keep going you know, work out each day, do something. If you're getting ready to, to do, you know, go before a bunch of people, hey, guess what? Jog in place for a minute, get that heart beat up, get yourself pumped up, and get ready to go out there and kick ass. All right, that's, that's the theme here. Take care of yourself, but know that your energy is going to come from within, and your energy is going to come from moving your body around. So keep that in mind. Have a plan, yes, I already talked about that. All right, pit bull. All right, this, this was the, the, the biggest thing that I took away from him. All right, there's always, well, let me, let me rephrase this. Keep learning, okay? You never stop learning. Don't ever think for one minute that, that you have reached the pinnacle of knowledge in whatever it is that, that you're choosing to, to learn or to succeed at, okay? Don't ever assume that you've reached that pinnacle because I'm telling you, and this was a great quote and I typed it on, on my post last night, okay, from Pitbull, okay, what's the biggest room in the world? Room for improvement. So always, always, always look for ways to improve yourself, improve your business, improve your knowledge, improve yourself. There's always room for improvement. Keep that in mind. Focus on that personal development, that professional development, whatever it is that's going to keep you going and keep you at that pinnacle uh, of your business, of your life, of your success. You keep doing it because I tell you what, getting to the top is one thing. Staying there is quite another. 
So if you're not doing everything that you, that you can to not only reach that pinnacle, but stay there for as long as possible, and guess what? You're just failing yourself. All right, this is, this is the, the no BS day for me, guys. Um, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm giving it to you like, like I got it yesterday. This is the no BS. All right, these are things that these guys right here have all learned throughout their journeys to becoming the successful people that they are. And you have some of these people who are 28 years old, 35 years old. Some of them started at age 21 while they were still in college. And guess what? They had a lot to learn. But they wanted it and they learned it and they did it. So what I'm telling you is, is whatever it is that, that you want to achieve, don't think for one moment that you can't do it because absolutely you can. You've just got to get yourself into the mindset of you're going to do whatever it takes to succeed. And that's the other thing that, that they talked about was mindset. Okay, when, when you talk about these people who have become, you know, real estate successes, flip or flop, um, tax liens, tax deeds, whatever, you know, e-commerce, you know what? Their mindset wasn't how much is this going to cost me? Their mindset was, how much can I make with this? And, and that's the mindset that, that you have to have. You have to set that cost aside because guess what? When you commit to it, when, when you say, okay, this is it, I'm going all in, guess what? You can make, you can make that initial goal and more, but you've got to have the mindset that says, I can versus I can't, maybe, or what's this going to cost me, how much, okay? The only time that you should say how much is when you pull out that credit card and say how much is going to be debited from this credit card, okay? If you are that serious about learning how to do something, then it's not cost, it's investment, and it's how much are you going to make. How much money are you going to make when you do this? And let me tell you something, folks. The possibilities are absolutely endless. So don't for one second think that, that these people succeeded by accident. Okay? It was passion. It was commitment. And it was total focus on, on their goals, their vision boards, and their why. So keep that in mind as well. Okay? Multiple streams of income. We talked about this. I hit it at the beginning. I'm hitting it again because I cannot stress this enough. Do not put all of your eggs in one basket. Okay? W whatever it is that, that you want to learn. Okay, you can start off with, with that one lane to start making that money initially. But then the, the question is always going to be, okay, what do I do with that money? Do I want to pay taxes on that money or do I want to find a way to invest that money in other avenues that are going to make me more money on passive income streams okay fire and forget okay what whatever it is you need to focus on get that one stream going absolutely okay get that that one focus on that one goal get it going start making money but then focus on those multiple streams of income and start to diversify. Okay, I know you've heard it's a financial term, but it's ab absolutely correct. Diversify your money because I'm telling you right now, do you want that money for, your, for yourself, your business, your why? Or do you want Uncle Sam or your government to, to get a, a larger percentage? That's, what you, that's how you need to look at this. Multiple streams of income. I cannot say it enough. Just go for it, okay? All right. Accept right now that when you commit to something, when you commit to a course of action to become wealthy, to become rich, accept the fact now that you're going to fail, okay? And I'm not, and I'm not saying that you're going to fail getting rich. I'm going to say you're going to experience failures in the course of getting rich. Accept that now because everyone, everyone who was at this expo said it. 
and they did it and they failed and guess what the biggest thing that they did was is they kept on going okay they took that failure they learned from their mistakes and they moved on and they didn't repeat their mistakes okay success is learning from your mistakes okay as long as you keep learning and as long as you keep moving forward guess what you're going to succeed you're you're going to succeed you're, you're gonna you're gonna succeed you're gonna be successful and, and you're going to see what that success can do for you but the fact of the matter is is you've got to f accept right now that you're going to experience failure along the path of success of success it happens to everybody so deal with it and move on and keep going okay finally the last thing I'm going to say, and, and, and I said this last weekend, was you have to take action. Okay, having a a, a vision board, ha having goals, having a plan, having a why, having all of this stuff that makes you absolutely passionate about about what it is that you're about to do is not going to mean squat. It's going to mean absolutely nothing if you don't take action all right take out that credit card if it means paying for a course for a three-day seminar take it out commit to it go to that course go to that event find live events in your area and go to them and learn and execute okay it doesn't do you any good if you learn all of this knowledge and you have all of this knowledge in your head and you don't do anything with it take action what you know, what whether you know it, it's it's your your first advertisement for affiliate marketing whether it's your first advertisement for for selling some sort of physical product online what whether it's buying and selling and flipping your first house okay when you're when you're talking about real estate take that action because I tell you what once you take that first step the next steps gonna get easier and the step after that and the step after that and pretty soon guess what you're gonna find that you've taken a million steps in your journey and you're achieving those goals that plan that why but you have to take action you have to do it at some point in time you gotta plug your nose close your eyes and jump in the deep end because that's the only way this is ever going to work for you is if you do it okay Nike says just do it you know Pitbull guess what if, if he didn't do it he'd probably still be in, in Miami Florida and, and would probably be a, a drug dealer in, in jail dead or, or a snitch as he phrased it okay so if you want something bad enough then you've got to do it and, and, you, and you've got to take you've got to take the bad times with the good times because I tell you what life is not rose-colored glasses folks okay it's not take action and if you're not sure what action to take then ask somebody okay ask me ask you know one of the mentors okay I, I've got people who are watching this today who, who have taken that action who can help walk you through that but guess what you've got to take that step all right you've got to take that step now I've talked for a little while here I don't even know how long because I'm telling you guys this this expo it got me fired up and you know the reason why I got fired up is because these people were saying all the things telling me all the things that I have known that that I have talked about and telling me and reinforcing all of the, the information the knowledge and, and letting me know me okay that I'm on the right path that 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 I've got the steps down and you know what I took action yesterday and I committed to some of these three-day seminars with one of my friends and I'm going to one next weekend and I'm going to one the weekend after and you know what 
I'm probably going to be tired, but you know what? I'm going to come out of that, and I'm going to have learned so much more, and I know I'm going to be taking that knowledge that I learned, and I'm going to be applying it because learning without application is just wasted knowledge. So I know I'm going to be applying it. And I tell you what, these people were fantastic. They're everyday people. All, all of these folks who, who made it, who are successful, let me tell you something. Tony Robbins swears like a sailor. Now, I did it. I was in the Army for 23 years. My family always talks to me about, you know, my creative use of language. Let me tell you something. This guy, he swears like a sailor, too. And let me tell you something. When he does it, it gets your attention, okay, which is one of the reasons why he does it. But I tell you what, he's also one of the smartest people I've ever seen. And what he said and how he puts it together and how he relates it to you is just absolutely phenomenal. So I've got two recommendations. And then I, I've got a challenge for you. Okay, so my two recommendations are if you ever get a chance to see Tony Robbins live, do it. The man is amazing and he has earned his reputation. Okay, that's my, that's my first recommendation. My second recommendation is a book recommendation that I received yesterday from the expo. And the book recommendation is called You Are a Badass. And it's by Jen Sincero, S-I-N-C-E-R-O. Uh, that was a book recommendation that, that I received and I'm passing it on to you guys. So those are my two recommendations. My challenge is, is find something that, that you've been wanting to do for a while. And I'm, I'm not talking about business related. I'm, I'm leaving the spectrum wide open, okay? If you've ever wanted to try skydiving or bungee jumping or ATVing, zip lining or whatever, okay? It doesn't have to be business related. It has to be something that you've been wanting to do, that you've been saying that you're going to do someday. Make that day this week. Okay, make that day this week. Take that some, one thing that you've been saying that you've been wanting to do for years and go do it. Okay, take that chance. I mean, Go to a frickin' restaurant and order off the right side of the menu. All right, do it. Just do something that you've been saying that you've been wanting to do and do it. That's my challenge to you, okay? And like I said, it can be anything that is anything, okay? I don't know you. I don't know what, what your someday list, your bucket list looks like, but do it. Stop saying someday and do it. And the, the final thought that I'm going to leave you, leave you with is when you do experience that success, say you get your first sale, okay, you get your first commission, celebrate, okay? Give yourself a pat on the back, a pat on the ass, whatever it is, and celebrate your success. Because I tell you what, success means nothing if you're not proud of what you did and, and your accomplishments. So celebrate your accomplishments. Don't just sit back and say, yeah, okay, I did that. Now I'm going to move on to this. No, it's, fuck yes, I did this. And I'm going to celebrate and I'm going to let people know I did this. And I'm going to do it again. So take time to celebrate. Take time to do those things that you've been saying that you wanted to do. Do one of them this week, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You have seven days. Do it. Do one thing that you've said you've always wanted to do. And I will leave you on that note. And guys, have a great week. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And I'm out of here. And I'm going to go do some, go do some uh, fun things hanging out with some friends as well. I'll talk to you later.